Hi, I'm Jim Taylor at the center, the village at Mira Mesa, just north of downtown San Diego, where our Bricksmore team took a tired old department store box, converted it, and brought in great new retailers like Sprouts Farmer's Market, Michael's Five Below, and this BevMo's first ever superstore. This is a great example of how our team not only brings in tenants that are relevant to and connect with the community, but drive our centers to truly be the center of the community, increasing traffic, increasing occupancy, and increasing rents. In fact, here at Mira Mesa, we put $32 million to work at an incremental 9% return, creating nearly $14 million of incremental value. We drove occupancy up by over 18%, and we increased our average ABR by nearly 14%. Importantly, this has set us up for years of growth to come and value creation. I can't wait for you to meet the team responsible for delivering all this value to you, our stakeholder, here at Mira Mesa. Welcome to uh, the village of Mira Mesa. Mira Mesa is a phenomenally located center in central San Diego, midway between the 805 and the 15 freeways. We serve a daytime population of roughly 400,000 people and a tremendously large uh, evening population as well. One thing that's great about Mira Mesa is if you look at the demographics, we are served by an area with higher disposable income, which means more spending at our asset. We've got 65% above the average household income and more than double the number of college educated people within the trade area. One of the key factors of the redevelopment here was our out parcels. We took an old union bank building that was only being used as an ATM and we redeveloped that, added a drive through and relocated three of our tenants into this new out parcel building. One of the things we did with the out parcels is knock down some buildings on the hard corner that were really being underutilized. We brought in, we constructed three new buildings, uh, made it a real communal gathering area with a large outdoor patio, uh, festoon lighting, and all sorts of activities that we can uh, program on that corner. We also brought in a great anchor tenant, Mostra Coffee, uh, as a local coffee roaster who won Roast Magazine's Coffee Roaster of the Year Award. Another thing we've done with our redevelopment here at Mira Mesa is brought in a number of sustainability improvements. We've added solar panels to our roofs, electric car charging, smart water irrigation, and LED lighting. We're standing in front of the Village Walk, one of the great areas of the redevelopment at Mira Mesa. This was an old, tired, uh, underutilized area of the shopping center where we're, traditionally we had a lot of vacancy and a lot of tenant turnover. We really redeveloped this area. We took out an old uh, fountain. We brought in a children's play area, a lot of outdoor seating to really energize this area and bring tenants, uh, bring customers here to help our tenants. Uh, and our tenants are doing phenomenally well here. We only have one small 200 square foot vacancy in this area of the center. Hello, my name is Tuan. I'm the owner of Little Sakana. So Little Sakana is an all-you-can-eat all sushi restaurant in San Diego. We're the only one in San Diego doing all-you-can-eat sushi at this moment. So on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we do have a two-hour wait. Um, at Little Sakana. Since the center we developed, we saw a major in foot traffic, um, people eating here, just in the center a lot, like a lot. Hi, my name is Kwan, and I'm the owner of the Crab Hut here. And it's actually, people feel excited more because around this area, I think medium and small, it's very uh, an important for this community. I see a lot of people come here really proud of the change because, you know, if you look around with medium Mesa, this is a very, heart of Mira Mesa and people in the neighborhood and the community they always come here and hang out. I'm Lisa Solano, project manager. I've been with Bricksmore since December 18th of 2017. I was a tenant coordinator for over three years and I'm now a construction project manager with Bricksmore. So as tenant coordinators, we have a lot of small businesses that come into our strip malls here at Bricksmore. And what happens is once that lease executes, we help these small business owners through their build out process. So I had the pleasure of working with Ashita Raman here at the Village of Mayor Mesa during their build out. And I got to work with one of the owners, Yang. Now I helped Yang through the process. And as you know, going through a build out can have its challenges. It took a lot of time to get him through the city. And then when we got to the point where he started to get ready to open, we had to find him a distributor. He was having a very hard time getting all of the ingredients that he needed for his tonkatsu soup, which is a pork soup, which is the ramen base. 
And so I helped him find a distributor. In addition, we had to bring in a consultant. What happened was when he first made the soup, he realized it wasn't of the same quality. And one of the reasons why is because the pork that they get in Japan, which comes from farm-raised pigs, has a higher protein content than what we have here in the United States. Here in the United States, a lot of our pigs are factory raised. So through the help of the consultant, he was able to add more bones to the soup and in addition, adjust the spice mix. He's only one of two restaurants here in Mira Mesa that serve ramen, he's very proud. But one of the most important aspects of tenant coordination is not just the actual build out process and getting that tenant in the space, but it's establishing the relationships with the tenants and building upon those relationships.